hi students this is uh, the last uh, basically the lecture of this whole course and it's really important for the students and uh, because I have give you a conclusion of planning and the four functions of management and these four functions of management are planning organizing leading and controlling these are really important but in many other things the five functions of management are also important these five functions of management which include the staffing as well with the four functions of management on the other perspective the management roles and responsibilities with these four functions of management are also play a key role to integrate the integration of any business it's really important and key step here I can elaborate the uh, most important thing. The most important thing is that the many uh, organization are seeking for effective management. But effective management need a skill, um, a skill manager, and these skill managers are really perform well for the organization. These skill managers ask to be the most important for the organization. Let I assume this situation because when the organization has start his business, they want to allocate and recruit best em best employee and best manager and best top level manager for his organization because it's mark a successful cornerstone for the organization and these managers are play a leading role for the success of organization to form an effective manager if you want to become an effective manager then you must implement the management roles and responsibilities in himself but first of all I have defined that how these five functions are really helpful for the organization once an organization has built his uh, plan and mark to implement it and go towards a uh, physical work but the, these four functions for every department is very important. You must know that uh, these five points will give a strong position to every organization in the market. And these five points are really important because this will evaluate the analysis for you. This can evaluate the most beneficial information for you this can reduce the waste uh, of your uh, company and reduce uh, and reduce from the waste of time and save your and save your time because uh, the time is many asked to be in this current era so now when you ask about these five points this can really important for many any organization to groom up in the market and these can really helpful for the organization now we can move forward to the management roles and responsibilities. The management role and responsibilities are also take a keen interest for the personality grooming, for the skill, for the skill accreditation, for the mental ability, for the communication improvement is very important and the key factors in the manager. So we can ask that why the students and why the manager has go for this the manager and the student is go for this because effective management skills the planning organizing leading controlling and staffing is very important and these things really change the whole scenario of your job whole scenario of your performance whole scenario of your paperwork and whole scenario of your work ability and skill these are really important so the basic goal of this course is mark and important for you that why these are really important for a good manager but a good manager may have may have uh, point to ability to establish these types of things and his schedule and they mark a schedule to build himself on the other hand many organizations have seek the responsibility and they seek the responsibilities that they have to continuously developing their employees with the current level in the organization this can uh, really um, the management role and responsibility improve the behavior of the manager and this can uh, really important because the behave behavioral perspective is very important when you give a feedback uh, to the to this thing so so this is uh, really important and you mark valuable you mark your personality valuable and important 
for you in the market because you have a personal ability you have personal skill and you have an a hub of knowledge so the people who is continuously growing himself who has continuously seek out the new things who are continuously update himself can mark and pull through in the market and they can also ask to be the most valuable employee or a manager for the organization so keep in mind these two important perspectives the planning organizing controlling leading and staffing is the fourth and the is the fifth uh, most important point this is I can half of the lecture the detail regarding this and the next one will be management role and responsibilities because a true manager must have an ability must have an a skill because these are called to be the key performance indicator of a true manager and asked to be the true manager as work for the organization with their best with their knowledge with their skills and abilities from heart felt it's really important and it's really an a core concept of these types of things so this can ask to be the core values how these core values are really important for the management to build these two types of thing can really help you to mark a good name in the market and organization can with the use of four or five function and mark a good brand name in the market in front of customer if they build a strong relation with his customer his supplier and his other network they can easily pull through the great resolution market so it can easily expand their business and mark a trustworthy business for the people so here all about these two things you can i th uh, i assume that this is really helpful for you and easily uh, evaluate about the concepts of uh, four important functions of management and the management roles and responsibility and how this is helpful for you and assist and stir up you to build these things this can really helpful hope you enjoy this all and get informative for you